so you didn't know I was a mind reader. <laughs> so I'm gonna let it record for a little while, you know, just to make sure I don't cut myself off. Uh, man, in the midst of this uh, chaos of our, geez, first we have water issues, <laughs> now we have mayor issues. Man, our poor city is a mess. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about reading minds today. No, I do not literally read minds. But what made me think about this topic was um, I was thinking about some clients that I had worked with recently, and um, I was thinking about how uh, I told them, I said, I need to learn how to read your mind. I need to know as much about you as possible. I need to know what you like to do. I need to know uh, if you like to go for walks, if you have pets, if you have um, friends, family that come over, if you like to have um, guests over, you need street parking. Uh, you know, what's your lifestyle? And, um, and the reason I say that is I said, because then now I can learn to read your mind. I can learn to think like you and know what you're thinking when I see a listing. And, um, this can also apply to sellers. If you tell me the more you share with me about how you think and what you expect and, and what you, um, what you're hoping for, then the more I can think like you and quote unquote, read your mind. Uh, I, and it can apply to anything in life. Like for example, my mom, my nose is itchy. My mom um, has a business and when she'd have people applying to work for her, I tell them all you have to do is learn to read her mind. And they go, what do you mean by that? And I said, well, watch her, study her, you know, see what she does. See, you know, when she walks by that counter and let's say there's a piece of paper on there or something untidy or you know that could be organized watch and see what she does and chances are she'll walk by and she'll straighten it up or she'll put something away or there might be something on the floor and she'll pick it up throw it away or or something like that I said you can do this at your jobs any job you know study the people that you work with work for and um, try to learn their you know read their mind try to be preemptive and pre uh, what is it uh, be ahead of the game meaning like before they even can say, hey man, can you go blah, 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 you, you're already on it because you've been watching and you've learned to understand um, what they're doing and what, what to expect from them. So uh, for me in real estate, I, I, I try to get to know my clients well enough that I can read their mind. If I see a listing or I see something going on or um, you know, or if there's something going on when I'm selling a house, I can go, okay, now don't worry because I'm understanding where they're coming from. And I'll say, I'm going to take care of this or don't worry about that because I'm understanding what's on their mind and what they're concerned about. Or, um, anyway, so, uh, and also with friends and family, of course, you know, learning to understand how they think and try to work with them and try to, <laughs> you know, like, you know, if that's going to upset somebody, hopefully you can try to make sure it doesn't escalate into something because you can already know they're going to be upset. So you can approach them and go, Hey, you know, I already know that, um, you're going to be upset about this, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to get all heated. I want to let you know so we can talk about it, work it out and, uh, try to, um, just be ahead of the game. So, Anyway, that's very short and sweet, but it's very helpful, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm Friday, I'm hoping to interview these people and, and talk about this a little bit more and how we journeyed through their home buying process and reading their mind and getting to know them better and better helped me um, navigate through where to look and what to do and what they might be interested in. So anyway, hopefully we, <laughs> we can do better in life as a result of being more alert and attentive and and um, being aware of what people are thinking and hopefully our city can stop having all this negative drama. Okay, have a great day.